quality. And all the door handles are loose. And these have been fitted from when the place was built and finished. Now what's happening is these spindles they have a grub screw on the underneath of the handle. So when this spindle sits in on this side at the back the grub screw fastens and holds it. But if you notice the slightly grooved and the grub screw will sit generally around the middle because it's chamfered it will want to always ride down to the centre these are just too short for the door so there's nothing to grip on one side so every door handle around the property is failing on one side because they've been built and finished with the wrong spindle and just never addressed because imagine that uh, just it baffles me I'll show you some of the other doors now you can see on this one I'm going to use two screws as well to fasten this side the same problem because they're all the same doors short spindles they're not gripping and then all the handles are working loose so take a look at some more there's another one use two screws I know that the third one is actually too short for the door another one just two screws holding it which won't take the force of these handles they've all been literally hanging off so anything where the hole has gone a bit oversized I just cut a small piece of wood sharpened it to a point and then just pop it in the hole and with a hammer till it breaks and then you can put your screw back in this one was that bad and these are MDF doors this one was that bad it's been tried you know, they tried to glue it. The holes, see there, they got so big. So what I've done is trim some plastic roll plugs down and put them in. And then just a little piece of wood inside each roll plug. So then when I put the screws back in, this will be nice and tight. This one was the worst one. I oversized holes that enlarged where the screws were. So all I've done is used a plug and just trimmed it off, cut it off and used the top part and inserted that in with a small piece of wood as well inside the hole. Just to give it some added strength. I'll show you why. These aren't biting properly. Well, you can see here just how much they're out. See, if I hold this side, then the whole lot rotates. So the force all both sides going through there really is quite a lot if the screws if there's not enough screws or the screws aren't deep enough it's just not going to help at all because the normal or other types of door handles with a longer plate the screws are further away from the shaft there's not as much force so when the handles are going back Make sure you put the opposing screws to this one in first and that way when you drop the handle 
it's got something to grip you can get this lock final screw in go sold again really it's changing the spindles or change the um, change the handles themselves or furniture that's a lot more expense that's okay because I've had to use some oversized screws, this cap won't go on. So what I've done is with my file, just took off the edge of the screw. The thread only starts part way along, so you won't damage this edge. Just file the end of the screws along underneath. And then that way, this cap will go back on. Uh, that's a lot more sturdy, but again, problem not solved. Shaft's too short. Um.